morning, everybody. Welcome to a tight fit in the canyons this morning. We're going morning. for some canyon runs. Oh, mm -hmm. we are back in a Porsche 912. This is Kevin, and thank you for joining me, sir. Delighted, man. Um, really interesting story. Um, uh, we did a stock 912, a Targa, and we found it to be nice but slow. Mm -hmm. And uh, the 912 community reached out and said, no, 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 this was wrong. We need to get you a better one. So here's Kevin. Tell me about your uh, 912. Well, so the stock 912 is a 92 horsepower coming out of the factory, yes. right? Uh, this is a 1.7 original motor, uh -huh. but grossed up a little bit. Okay. We've got forged aluminum pistons, uh, high duration cam, twin spark. Okay. So we'll run about 135 to 140 on the horsepower. Oh, wow. So we're, we're like 50, 60% bump yeah. in horsepower. So think of it this way. It's similar to a 911T of its day. Mm -hmm. Not the same torque, obviously. Right. But horsepower good and, uh, you know modified transmission in the high gear and fifth but second third fourth real tight ratio okay cool So fun little runner so what does this thing weigh give or take i think factory said about just a little over two thousand pounds okay and i've taken a little weight out here and there floorboards etc so yeah call it two thousand pounds for fun for grins and giggles more interestingly <laughs> this is your daily driver this is my Every daily driver. day this car this car gets out of the garage it's not a trailer queen at all that's awesome all right let's have a go so five speed gearbox dog leg first that's right well we may have to we i said oh wait we have these windows yeah i um i said windows closed for for, which way do I push? Push out. Push out. Oh, there we go. But we need to get a little, it's going to get steamy. So here we go. Two big men in a little car. Two man. big men in a little car. Until I can't anymore. And 
shift, like I said, is a highway. It's a big ZA gear, so it just is a, you know, it's an overdrive, right? Yeah. So you, you rarely use that. You don't climb hills in it for sure, right? This would be a you know, period correct. It's actually the numbers matching gearbox, believe it or not. Is that a 901 gearbox? It's a 901. 901. 912 gearbox. Because everyone, you know, I'm looking at old 911s. I'm like, I, I want to continue this, but hang on. I'm going to just go flat through the gears. Yeah. Right there. It's really not slow. No, she wants to get up and go, right? No, it really wants to run. This motor is like so much more lively than any. Imagine this in a 914. It would Oh, with oh, center engine? Best. With, you could go crazy. It would be the best. Look at this, and it's got stick to it also. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. What a lovely little car this is. But here's the here's the thing, is this where you tell me you dumped 60 grand into a 912? <laughs> is that how this goes? <laughs> so I'll be the first to tell you I spent a little more on this than I planned, right? Yeah, yeah. This is way too nice for a 912. But this is also when I said, I'm not building it for anyone else. I'm building it for me, right? Well, you're dailying it. So I'm dailying it. So why would I worry about the money, right? And so I didn't go that crazy. Yeah. But I put a little more in it. Than, now, and you know. This seems a little nicer than, than most 912s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is spectacular, Kevin. This Do you like that third to fourth, by the way, Matt? so nice. That third to fourth when you're in high revs is yeah. just a jump gear. It's awesome. So when I, uh, I'm looking at old 911s, but I, I might, I'm tempted to spend more for that G50 gearbox. It just, it feels better. That's the end of the 80s gearbox. Yeah. The 915, the early 80s gearbox is sloppy, but can you put this shift assembly on that? Uh, I think a lot of guys go with the Wevo gearbox on the oh, 915. The Wevo gearbox. And it'll give you the same basic you know, the shift assembly, the same basic feel, right? Yeah. Um, oh, that's fifth. That's my highway gear. Wow, it really is a highway gear, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's 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 really That's like, honey, gear. we're going to Santa Barbara. Let's yeah, cruise. Yeah, yeah. Nope. I ended up in fifth again. Hang on. There it is. Sorry. It was really tight. I ended up in fifth. I was <laughs> going for third. <laughs> it's a get used to gearbox. It is. No, but but once you lovely. know it, though, yeah, it's, lovely. it's so intuitive, right? I like these brakes. They're nice, nice and tight. The uh, the G50 gearbox, I think, is a great gearbox, right? Uh, yeah, but there's a premium on it. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, I think. What did I say this morning? This morning when you showed up, I was like, I don't know about this. 912. This 912. I think I'm coming around to the 912s. Well, it all depends on what you do with it, right? That's awesome. I think this is an example that shows you, you can take a stock 912, put some nice little factory approved hardware on there, yeah. and get something really fun. And what you're probably experiencing too is, you got 180 pounds less on the back end, right? So you can push this thing into the corners, and she just sticks. Quite right? a lot of confidence. Yeah. And what's so interesting about these old Porsches, 
fires, they're not nearly as scary as everyone not, says they no, are. No, not at all, right? In fact, you almost, you really don't have enough power to do anything too stupid. No, you almost can drive silly, right? The big difference is you got to drive this in the power van to enjoy it, where, you know, like my 964, you've got a, enough torque that you can right. drive dumb. Right. right. Well, I'm just starting to learn, really, that, you know, some of these old engines, you really have to run them high, high oh, end. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, mentally, it's tough to think, wow, this engine is 40 years old, but it wants to run at 6K all day. And that's okay. It's okay. A lot of these guys, especially the stock 912s, yeah. you know, will be doing 4,500 going down the highway. Yeah. Right? I mean, and you think, wow. Well, I just had a go in a Ford Escort Mark One. Okay. That redlines a 9,500 RPM from 1973. Wow. Listen to the bass note, though. Beautiful. That's awesome. Oh, that's it. beautiful. I'm loving that you're loving it. It's great to see yeah, it. It's great to drive. sure if I have any good consumer advice that's a good take home because I, I, I'm not sure I can in, in good financial conscience say you should do this right but I get it but well, what it says is it. if you want something a little different if you're yeah. a Porsche file like I have a 356a yeah it's got 42 horsepower right yeah that's a different drive yeah, yeah. I've got a 964 it's an RSA that's a different drive right yeah this is something in between so when I go out to the garage it's I can nice, say hey what nice key do daily. I pick that's and what it says, hey, you can drive something unique, mm -hmm. not have to put a mint into it, right? Yeah. And enjoy a little bit lighter. Now that this car is done and built, is it reliable? Is oh, it, absolutely. Is it bulletproof? Yeah, bulletproof, right? I get in this thing all the time. I never worry about clicking it over. It's taken uh, runs to Monterey and back, non-event. I mean, no air conditioning. No so air conditioning. The summer. That's, yeah, that's the one. The, you know, with these old cars, you can do. Can you do vintage air in this stuff? Maybe you could, but I the torque. It's yeah, probably yeah, not yeah. worth it, right? Uh, what a lovely thing. Yeah, it's a great it makes, car. It, it definitely makes sense. I get it. You know, four years in, it's running well. I think Ben put his magic on it. He mirrored it after his little yeah. Mine Twelve, which I think was a car you guys were going to look if at. If somebody wanted to buy a motor like that from Ben, what do you think the motor would be? Boy, I always hesitate to put a price on a guy that runs a shop, but. You know, a normal motor. We're talking these days. 10, 50, 100. Oh, God, you know. no. Luckily, you can spend a ton of money on a motor. I own a Polo motor, mm -hmm. the Dean down in uh, Temecula builds. Mm -hmm. You can spend 40 or 50 on a motor like that, but you're going to get a four cylinder twin spark 2.7 titanium oh, rods motor. in a little car like this. Imagine that, motor. right? Yeah, 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 you're going to throw 235 off at the spindle. Yeah, that's a big Imagine motor. this car yeah. like that, right? So is this like a ten, fifteen thousand dollar motor? I'd say this kind of is thing? a twenty, twenty-two, okay. twenty-four, okay. somewhere so there. So not cheap, but not crazy. Not out of control, yeah, yeah, right? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when you look at a standard nine eleven or nine twelve motor these days, you're probably looking at something like eighteen to twenty. So yeah, you're only yeah. talking about a little different. And if you have to build it anyway, right, right. Wow, thanks, Kevin. That was so neat. Way to represent the 912 people. Hey, glad to be here. And thanks for the John opportunity. Benton, John respect Benton. Respect to John Benton for, yeah, for what absolutely. a sweetheart of an engine that is. And shout out to Efren, who I was going to be like, nah, no more 912s. He's like, no, no, no. One more 912. So thank you. <laughs> glad we got in. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. And, thank and you. what a delight. What a delight. I Mine changed. I'm on, I'm on board with the 912 now. Thank See you. you guys later. Take Good care. Day.